Hello, my name is Nikki Lintot and I'm going to show you how to use the two peaks in one triangle ruler designed by Creative Grids which we feature in our pattern book. We're going to make this unit here which is the two peaks in one triangle unit. So first of all we need to make our centre triangle. Now this ruler is a multi-size ruler so you are able to use up to six and a half inches. This is a five inch strip. Now the great thing about this ruler, on the right hand side it gives you the finished sizes and on the left it tells you exactly what size strip you need to use. So this is a 5 inch strip so we know it's going to be a 4.5 inch finish and as a double check point it says 5 inches. So we line up the measurements with the bottom of our strip, the cut off top is lined with the top of the strip and this becomes our rotary cut. All you do then is rotate the ruler 180 degrees, line up your markings, 5 inch strip, 4.5 inch finish, and this becomes your second cut. And then you keep going along until you get to the end of the strip. And that allows you to make your centre triangle. Now you need to make your side triangles. Now for this we suggest that you keep your strip folded and this will allow you to make your left and your right centre triangles. Using your ruler, turn it around and again find your measurement. So this is a five inch strip. We look for a four and a half inch finish, five inch strip. We line it up with the bottom of the strip, the cut off top with the top of the strip and we rotary cut. We rotate the ruler 180 degrees and do the same thing. We line up the ruler with the 5 inch strip, 4.5 inch finish, and we cut again. And we keep going along until we've cut all our side triangles. We then sew the two side triangles to the centre unit. And there we have it, the two peaks in one triangle unit. I'm just going to show you some blocks that you can achieve with this unit. So this first block here, we've rotated the unit 90 degrees and then we've just appliqued on a little flower center. Now this unit here, we've added in some plain squares and this is a great unit, great block, that if you set it on point, looks really effective. Now the last block I'd like to show you is based on a traditional block. This is called a 5440 or fight. And you can see we've added in a four patch and a plain square. Now this block, when you alternate it with a snowball block, allows you to create curvy designs and a curvy illusion. And this pattern is also featured in our pattern book. So that's how easy it is to use the Creative Grids non-slip, multi-size, two peaks in one triangle ruler that we feature in our pattern book.